Raider Colts at Titans. Open Colts minus two and a half. Now minus three and a half. Total open to 45. Now 43 and a half across the board. Colts and Titans play in game. Whatever team wins gets into the playoffs. If they tie, they'll both be eliminated. If the Texans lose to the Jaguars, the winner of that Colts Titans game will take the AFC South crown. Very interesting stuff. Last time the Colts and Titans played each other, Colts blew them out 38 10. And they'll probably have to do the uh, fight back here. This Titans team with Blaine Gabbert filling in for Mariota. Mariota Stinger. Still questionable. We have to make sure, Vrabel saying, we have to make sure that he can go out there and do the job at a high level. T.Y. Hilton, questionable, but we're pretty sure he is going to be there. Eric Ebron, questionable. He closed out the practice this week with a full session on Friday. He's in the final stages of clearing the league's protocol. He is expected to play. Donnie Wrightside, big Sunday nighter, Colts at Titans. Yeah, look, uh, this is going to be a tough game. I love the Indianapolis Colts, but Ryan Kelly's just been downgraded to out for this football game. That is a massive injury for one of the better young centers in the league that's not going to be participating here. That's going to be a tough one. T.Y. Hilton, look, he's a warrior. He's been playing great. He's still banged up. You know, he's one play away from tripping around that offense struggling. They were dead to rights last week, but it does show a good football team coming back and winning at home in some adverse conditions. But over the past couple weeks, they did beat up Dallas. Dallas was in a bye week situation, which they did, but they still beat them closer games after the Tennessee game Miami a close game Miami had that team dead to rights they go down to get shut out by Jacksonville 24-21 close game versus Houston they beat the Cowboys and then have a barn burner versus the Giants if you're going to give me a home team and a must win football game and give me three and a half or three I'm leaving home team and I love the Indianapolis Colts but they're really banged up right now Wow, interesting breakdown. I loved hearing that. Tomar says Mariota being great on national TV. I think there's value on the Titans, but the Casey injury is huge. Well, we don't even know if Mariota will be there. Larry Savage says, take the Colts. True. Take the Colts. Whale capper. Colts at Titans. Sunday night football. Who are you liking here? I hadn't heard that uh, Ryan Kelly news. That's a bummer. Uh, I like the Colts yeah, in this is. spot. Uh, I like the under in this spot. I like the Titans team total under in this spot. Um, you still have a nice matchup. I feel, you know, even with a replacement center, you still have a nice matchup with some of the, uh, the big bodies on that offensive line for the Colts against a, uh, a run defense. that's going to be without Jarrell Casey. That's a huge deal. They're going to have a much, you know, they're going to have a very difficult time, uh, you know, stopping the rushing attack from the Colts, which means you can potentially get a nice balanced attack from the Colts. They can sustain some drives. They can play a little bit of keep away. Uh, and, you know, they want to see if, uh, you know, they want to make sure Mariota can perform to a high level. Yeah, well, the only way you're going to find that out is if you trot him out there for the first quarter and you see how he's playing. Uh, you, it, and to the degree that I don't think you're going to see him be particularly effective because of the way that this injury has kind of, at least the way it's been reported, it sounds more serious than they're, they're making it out to be. And uh, if you're having numbness on the right side of your body and Mariota has a you know, a tendency to float balls as it is. Uh, you know, he's when he's throwing it down the field, he's gonna he's gonna have that in the back of his mind. He's gonna be reticent to take those kind of chances. They're gonna lean on Derrick Henry pretty heavily. Uh, and if we see the same type of performance out of the Colts defense that we've seen the last couple of weeks, uh, then I think they can keep them tamped down in the score sheet. Um, Colts get a win here, probably gonna be pretty tight. Uh, but give me an under and a Tennessee team total under. Uh, I feel like this game ends in the 2013 temper range with the Colts uh, covering barely, uh, but the under coming in nicely. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now not to mention a visit to our industry leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.